Okay, awesome. Thanks for watching. We got a really good one today. We got five fir trees. Look how close they are to that gutter, that house, fence. Look at, and uh, over there you can actually see where some of the branches broke off last winter. Caused all sorts of problems. So we're here today to safely remove these trees, pass them on to woodworkers that can use the logs, and then haul away all the brush, all the debris. We got the sun out, beautiful day. And then Sarah and Arnie are over there, working with the bucket. We've got the crane crew here. It's gonna be a great day. Just noticed something and I, I'm really glad I caught it um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick you up there no chainsaw needed but we're gonna put a chain on there's this monster hanger and you're gonna chain it and then we'll uh, we'll just pick it up with you and then I'll, I'll get you back to the ground do you want to uh, put me in the bottom of the chains or you want me to hook into this hook? Uh, the bottom of the chain it's actually yeah. all right you can go up get up It's so great Joe set that up. Yeah. Oh man, it's been so nice to have him back. I feel like it made such a big difference. Huge difference. Okay. All right. Great. So yeah, look at the size of that freaking hanger and that I'm just gonna put a chain around the butt of it. I don't knock you into it. Oh yeah. Talking about now. So I was thinking one chain around that and then I'm gonna pick you up with it. Okay, do you wanna go cable up a little bit more? Alright, that should be good. Try and get it up on the branch a little bit. Can you boom down a little bit? Yep. Just we want the chain pretty close to the end. Okay.
Who's got the chains off the chase? It's right here. Or it was right here. You grab that 500. It's that one right there. They moved it over there. That one's got the full wrap and I know it's gassed up. I don't know about that other one. All right. Ready? Okay, yep. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful dogwood. It really is, yeah. Starting on the one on the end, or are we starting on the little one? Yeah, let's do the end one. Okay. Thank you. Wow, what a view. All right, that's good. What, uh, what size piece do you want on this one, Peter? Gosh, sorry, Chase. I, I, I'm having a hard time hearing you. What was that? Uh, I said, what size piece? Like, what are we good for up here? So, I'd like to go and beat like a 40 foot piece. We're good for 10,000. Okay. And this is pretty thin. Okay, um, so. But I want to put those chains. I got to come down a couple feet. Yeah, yeah, you want to boom or cable down? Okay. I also just want to be cautious in your rope length, making sure you don't uh, repel off the end of it. These are tall trees. Okay, do you want to cable down some more? All right, that's good. I'm I'm good for a lot, so you just uh, yeah find a comfortable place to cut. Okay. All right, going down. And it'd be kind of awesome if you ended up on the back side of that tree. Yeah, just yeah. So. so I'm not in the swing. Yep. For sure. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I might, there's one branch back here. I was going to get on the other side of this branch and I'll have a good spot to hide from. Okay. I feel like a lot of the weight of this pick is going to be um, kind of on the grapple side of the tree, kind of towards the street. thinking this is going to weigh at least 3,500. Yeah, that sounds, um, cause where I'm at is probably, it's probably like close to 20 inches in diameter. 20, okay, AX19 And there's size. a couple, there's a couple big branches on that side too. Ready. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for a B cut. That's great, and then I'll swing it towards the grapple. Yeah, I'm thinking since all the branches are on the street side, I'll start on that side and kind of cut towards the crane, and then do the back side on this side. Sounds good. Okay. free you think it's free yep it's free there was a tiny little tab on my side but that moved it freaking tooth pickle hold it yeah how much is that we got 39 a hundo nice 39 okay So nice 
Russell, that crane job we did last time, if I can just set these down somehow. But it's kind of a different setup here. We need somebody really fast on a chainsaw. Oh, uh, we got Justin right now on the chainsaw. We, we just, we need you on a really powerful saw, something to, just to, okay, yeah, just, just cut anything that looks like a branch or wood. <laughs> Yeah. Cut those branches. Maybe I can lay it down. You could grab the base. Bring it. Bring it towards it. Yes. Yeah. Kind of a tight area. Go towards the crane or towards me? No, uh, towards your outrigger. Okay, chains off. Actually, actually the best, drop the saw and just two, 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 both, both go into that chip chain. Alright, I got my hands on the chain. I'm going to move the wood towards the grass over here though. I was kind of thinking that entire thing would go in the truck. Just take the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. yeah. what the first pick was 39 yeah 30 nice. days yeah i was thinking about it and after i made after i started making my second cut i was thinking that um, i probably should have adjusted the angle of my v cut because the branch weight was more towards the house and not the street that time well this next one's going to be really weighted towards the street towards the street like yeah so I'll, I'll go back to the same cut again then towards the road. Yeah. So kind of do the same thing I just did. Yep. Road road cut first. Yep.
Ja, du mal. I saw him eat, drinking fresh coconut milk right out the coconut. Just traveling the world doing tree work. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he just had a third kid too. <laughs> Crazy. Of skinny trees now we got a big fatty so we got to change our our mentality up a little bit we're still good for a ton of weight but we just don't want to overdo it okay double tied in you got your saw Okay, ready when you are. Alright, that just sat on the saw. There you go. Nice cut.
bunker. Cable down. Take off, I think. Okay, we can take our truck. Yep, here. yep. 